Port Manatee also welcoming a special guest today, all in the hopes of increasing trade and creating thousands of Suncoast jobs in the future. The Panamanian Ambassador touring several other ports on the Gulf Coast, all of them vying for the business the Panama Canal expansion will offer them. ABC 7's Michelle Rigg has a closer look now from our Manatee County newsroom. Port Manatee officials and Congressman Vern Buchanan give Panamanian Ambassador Jamie Eduardo Alamanhili a tour of the port's facilities. They're hoping to continue to strengthen future relations with the Panama Canal expansion expected to be complete in 2014. I think the proximity to the, uh, to the canal is uh, obviously a built-in advantage that you have and also uh, the fact that you have such great facilities that you're expanding. As of now, Buchanan says 13 percent of larger ships are unable to make it through the Panama Canal, but that will soon change, which means more cargo coming through the canal and the distinct possibility of more business for Port Manatee. But there are 14 other ports in Florida, and it will ultimately be up to the shipping companies to decide which port they will use. The opinion of the ambassador is still highly important. It's amazing how clean it is, how uh, well organized everything is, how uh, efficient uh, the operation is run. Elliman also says he's very encouraged by the expansion plans. The Port Authority is working to get a better access route between Port Manatee and I-75 with a port connector. Chairman Larry Bustle says it's still five to ten years in the making, but the required studies are underway now. Of near-term interest is, is a, a way to get product from the port across US 41 to the to the people who are willing to invest and build warehouses and facilities across that highway. Port Manatee adds more than 2.3 billion dollars annually in regional economic impact and supports more than 20,000 jobs. It'd be nice to look down the road and create 40, 50,000 jobs in the next five or seven years uh, and most port jobs are good paying jobs. We provide the means so people can buy homes, raise their families, and, and really establish themselves here uh, on the West Coast. From Port Manatee, Michelle Rigg.